I want to tell you about Chuck Close. So interesting. Um, he is an artist, a portrait artist who is face blind. One funny story that Chuck Close tells is about the time that he was talking to a skinny, um, sort of muscular man and he said he asked he said i love your work which was his stock phrase for everyone and he had no idea that he was talking to um sting chuck close is famous for his massive paintings including this nine by six foot head of bill clinton that hangs in the natural national portrait gallery it is only slightly smaller than bill clinton's actual head if you stand near this portrait it looks like an abstract painting but if you look at it from farther away, the face sort of coalesces and you're able to see that it is actually a face. Close says that he started painting people this way because he realized he wasn't seeing faces normally. Neurotypical people see the face as a whole. They take in it all at once, gestalt style. Close was seeing faces in a fragmented way. And if you look at a Chuck Close painting, it can give you a sense of what faces look like to him and to all face blind people. I don't mean that we literally see faces as a grid of squares in overlapping colors, but we do see them in a more fragmented way, and it makes it tough for us to understand the face and remember it and attach that memory to specific people. Now, when you step away from the face, you get the experience of seeing the fragments come together and become intelligible as a face, and so that could give face-blind people a sense of what it might be like to be neurotypical. And prosopagnosia was not recognized as something that you can be born with. It was only known as something you get through traumatic brain injury um, until, I'm going to say, the 90s. Chuck Close, you know, he began his painting career in the 60s, and so he had this intuition about himself, and he only later got the name for it, which is prosopagnosia or face blindness. Mm -hmm.